The men's cross country team is returning from the WC Conference Championships in California. CoopTube reporter Kyle Ireland joins us live in the newsroom to tell us about their trip. Kyle, what were the results like for the team? The Cougars were looking to get back to their winning ways over the weekend. After a one-point loss in the conference championships to Portland last year, the Cougars hit the track this time around, running for revenge. Energy, endurance, and winning. Those words describe the 2013 BYU men's cross country team. The Cougars are fresh off of a dominating performance, capturing the WCC Conference Championship in California last week. The team says it's now in control of its own destiny. We came out victorious and it was a great victory for the team and we celebrated afterwards and it was, it was fun. The Conference Championship trophy wasn't the only piece of swag the Cougars brought back to Provo. Senior Jason Witt sprinted his way to first place overall, earning him the National Cross Country Athlete of the Week Award, an honor he says he did not even see coming. Oh really, it was, it was quite a surprise. It's, uh, it is an honor to, you know, to be the National Athlete of the Week for you know, cross country. All this recent success gives the team poise, something it says will come in handy for the Mountain Region Championships in Ogden next week. The team says it's working hard to keep running on the right track okay, and okay. still has a lot more to accomplish this season. Well, I think uh, it gives myself and the team a lot of confidence um, that we're going to be able to go to regionals, that we're going to be able to um, do what we need to do to advance to nationals. The team had an impressive showing in Malibu with four Cougars placing in the top ten and showing great depth for the rest of the season. Live in the newsroom, Kyle Ireland, CoogTube. With that depth, what can we expect from the team for the rest of the season? Well, the Cougars are going to head up next Friday to Ogden for the regionals, followed eight days later by the Nationals in Terre Haute, Indiana. Well, I guess number five nationally isn't too far from number one. Thanks a lot, Kyle.